What's up, y'all? Check out this nifty little ceiling fan that we just installed not too long ago. It wasn't too difficult. Let's check out the features. This here is the 44-inch model, complete with the LED light and the remote, replacing this kind of crusty old little fixture. First thing we had to do was take that fixture down. Next, the installation was quite simple. Let me show you some features, and then we'll talk about installation. So this nifty remote right here is very responsive. We're going to hit the fan, and boom, kicks right into gear, does that weird little thing, and then it starts going. Now, this does use a DC motor, so it's actually very quiet, but very powerful. I can already feel quite a good little breeze in here. Yeah, I got the two windows here in the office, but I like a little bit of airflow, so that's why this one went here. You can see up there, very flush ceiling mount, so it looks great. Nice black shade. I think they got a few other colors, too. If we want to control the light independently, we can do that no problem. Now, it doesn't show the best on camera, but there are three different lighting modes. This here is a warm mode. Kind of makes it a little bit more gold. Middle one is the daylight mode. And we've also got the cool mode. In addition to that, we can also change the brightness with these little dimmers right here. We can go a little bit dimmer or we can go a little bit darker. Again, doesn't show the best, but you get the idea. Also has six different speeds for the fan as well as reversing it in case you want to draw air up instead of pushing it down. Light switch, fan switch, timers right here too. You can set it for two hours or four hours. Maybe if you're going to sleep and you don't want it running all night, that's a, a great little option right there. And then this one, I think, is just like a breeze mode. I don't really know what that does, but, you know, it works just fine. Now, I am no electrician, but this thing was pretty simple. Just had to take down the old fixture, put the mount up into the electrical box. Most of these houses already had the electrical boxes because they're wired for ceiling fixtures of some sort. And then after that, there was only three different wires, green, black, and white. Pretty easy to assemble. They include a video with installation tips. I looked up one other video just to kind of make sure that I was doing everything right. Obviously, you want to make sure that you switch off the power to the room first so you don't go shocking yourself. Then fun fact, these LED lights do not work well with dimmer switches. We had a dimmer switch here before, so I ended up taking that out and replacing it with just a regular switch. That way, this thing wouldn't flicker or anything like that. So if you get through all the installation, then you notice that it's flickering. It's likely that you've got a dimmer switch over here. Again, I am no electrician, but this thing took me maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, even factoring in a drive to Home Depot to get the new switch and a new switch plate. Really simple, guys. So overall, just a really nice nifty fan. It looks great in the room. The remote control is super nifty. They even include a little bit of a like a mounting kit, so I'm gonna put it on the wall over there somewhere. Doesn't come with batteries, but it does take two AAA, so just grab a couple of those and you should be just fine. Because it's an LED and it's plastic, you know that this thing is gonna be easier to clean and it's gonna last a really long time. I love that it's so quiet, but it is quite powerful. And of course, those adjustable lighting modes. Hope you guys found this helpful. Have a great rest of your day.